hey how's it going on guys in this quick tutorial i'll be showing you how to create smoke buff animation in hitfilm express open up hitfilm express and the template i'll choose is 1080p at 60 frames per second then click on start compositing and once it opens up click on this cog icon to open up the composite shot properties i'm going to change the duration and make it two seconds long and click on ok you can click on the options button right here uh, you can toggle off the checkerboard background you can just simply click right here to toggle it off and now our checkerboard background is replaced with this black background so this is still transparent um, so i'm just going to create a new plane layer and we'll call this um, smoke and i'm going to set the color to white and click on ok and after that you just select the freehand mask tool and create a cloud shape so uh, you can just click and just click and hold and create a curve like that and basically you just have to create a shape like a cloud here is our shape now uh, what we have to do is first of all let's just put it in the center so i'm going to select this let's go inside the transform and let's just change the anchor point value let's just bring this animation in the center like that uh, go to the fix tab and search for uh, let's go on the distort and search heat distortion so just apply it on this um on this layer and then let's go into heat distortion We'll set the diffusion bias to 100 and diffusion strength to 0. Now we'll get these um, sharp edges and then we will change the distortion to something like 40. Let's just uh, see the scale. Let's just change it to uh, something uh, like uh, 60. Uh, that looks fine. And we have this animation going on and the next step is to as you can see if we just zoom in let me just put this to the maximum here and we can see these lines right here and to fix that we will go into kink expand that expand the matte enhancement and we have the matte cleaner we can just apply it on this layer Let's go inside the matte cleaner and let's just increase the feather to about let's see i think two pixel will do the trick as you can see that it fixes that annoying line right there all right now the next step is to duplicate your mask so just right click and click on duplicate and we'll just set its blending mode to subtract and let's just expand the mask go inside the shape and we will keyframe the expansion so hit a keyframe at the first frame just create a keyframe there i will just um, set the expansion just make sure that there's no um, black space in the middle so just set that to in my case i have to set it to negative 227 and then just move forward to one second and set this back to zero so we have this uh, animation all right that is looking nice so i'm gonna i'm just going to select these two keyframes convert them to oh by the way i have to create i have to animate the this uh, whole layer so i'll just use this transform section and i'll just create a keyframe set this to zero scale keyframe set it to zero move forward to one second we'll set that to 100 or yeah let's just do 100 and we don't have yeah right here we go so now i'm going to select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier go into value graph and create a curve like this so we have this animation Let's bring this in a bit. Or maybe we just have to go inside the mask expansion. We select that. And we'll just bring the expansion right over here. 
maybe let's just keep it right there and set the expansion and select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier and create a same slope as we did with the earlier keyframes okay now we will have this kind of animation so let's take a look at it once again all right that is looking nice so that's it for this tutorial i hope this was helpful if it was please do consider liking this video and also subscribing to this channel and i'll see you in the next one